swing. And the pure swing is it, it produces the, the relationships in the left wrist and it's to be used in actually striking balls. Now, you're going to have to, you're on your own somewhat with the extensor action and some of these on plane alignments. That's where the power angle pro comes in handy. But this one here will do the next best thing, which is to keep the left wrist flat. And if there is number one alignment in golf, it is the flat left wrist. Because all the miseries come when that wrist is bent. This is where the good shots and the great players come from. Here versus here. Here's the guy who can't break 100. Here's the guy who's in the 90s. Here's the guy who can be, say, the mid-80s. Here's the guy who's in the first or second flight of the club championship. This is the guy who won the championship. There's your tour player. The difference is between here with your hands and here with your hands. It's the difference between a bent left wrist and a flat left wrist that can be taken through the ball. See, those are the two things in order to be a good player that you must do. You must keep your left wrist flat and you must swing through the ball. The pure swing enables you to do both. P place this here against the inside of your left forearm. You'll see automatically the shaft that was vertical has become leaned, leaned forward. And then if you, all you must do is maintain that pressure as you go up to the top. So let's take talk about a little pitch shot. You still got this pressure. It's not here. If the pressure goes off there, and oh, oh, whoa, if it goes against this right arm, which, by the way, is what most people do, they come down into impact with an uncocking left wrist, and then instead of having a proper roll that keeps this against the left forearm, they get to here, and then they fire by flattening a right wrist, which is a horizontal motion. The uncocking the left wrist was a vertical motion this way. The flattening of the right wrist is a horizontal motion. So the, this vertical motion keeps the the pure swing aligned to the left forearm, but the flattening horizontal motion of the right wrist, pow, puts it right up against the right forearm. And therein, folks, lies geometric golfing disaster. This is very definitely four left or four right. You are not, you don't have to worry about the sprinkler heads on that one. So here we go. From, from address, again, immediately, boom, you put it against the left forearm and you're in your impact alignments. Now you take it up to the top, maintain the feel against your left forearm, down in the impact, Continue the feel, whether it's the full roll of the horizontal hinge, the no roll of the uh, feel of the uh, angle hinge, or the reverse roll feel of the vertical hinge, this pure swing device never leaves the inside of the left forearm. And because it doesn't, then the club face, the flat left wrist, are all going to orbit around the left shoulder just as they should at the same revolutions per minute. This will be going much faster in terms of surface speed, in terms of miles per hour. But the flat left wrist keeps this sweet spot rotating around the horn, around the left shoulder, at the same RPM as the hands. And therein lies the secret of golf.